Happy Wednesday, good afternoon. Let me introduce you to Miss Frida, your brand new instructor. She's ready in her eco-friendly, biodegradable, beautiful new outfit. <laughs> I guess we have a little too much time. This is what we created for Frida. All right, if you check out my pants, we are matching. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a great Wednesday and you coming up with some creative projects out there for yourself so you can enjoy your time. Some time that may, may not ever come back to you. So we always complain and we have no time for anything. Here we go. We have a ton of time, right? All right. It's just a joke. Frida is not going to be your instructor. She is way nicer than I am. All right. You guys need me. Perfect. All right, Frida. Thanks for coming. You can stay right here. All right. Perfect. So uh, today, as always, we are doing a little fun workout. We're going to do a ton of uh, cardio. Hi, Patrick. Good to see you too. All right. So you're going to do a ton of cardio. If you have some weights, make sure you have your weights by your side. If you don't have any weights, don't worry. Some of my friends, they're grabbing bricks. They work out with bricks. That's pretty creative. If you have anything else in your household you like to do, uh, thank you, then you can uh, do that as well. All right. Let's get going. You want to sit down onto your mat. In fact, let's go into child's pose. Bring the knees wide. Bring the big toes to touch and reach the arms forward. Three conscious breaths here. Starting in a nice audible exhale, releasing all the air out from the lungs, releasing it out, letting it all go. Sealing the lips, take a full conscious deep inhale breath in through the nose, filling up the lungs all the way to the top. Reaching the fingertips more forward, reaching the tailbone all the way back, stretching out through the spine. And then open your mouth, audible breath, let it out, let it go. Again, deep inhale through the nose, sealing the lips, feeling up the lungs. Lifting the forearms and the elbows away from the mat, spreading the fingers away from each other, stretching the hips further back to the heels, holding there, sipping a little more air in. Then open your mouth, big audible, releasing, exhale out through your mouth, let it out, let it go, good job. Last one, we're going to keep our lips sealed the whole time, deep inhale into the nose. We'll feel every single drip of the air as it comes in through the nostril, travels down all the way to the bottom of your lungs, hold it at the top, sip a little more air in, then keep your lips sealed and exhale everything out through the nose. Good job. Blink your eyes open, gaze up to your hands and walk over to the right, stretching out to the left side body, stretching out from the left outer hip all the way to the left pinky. Now walk over to the left side and do the same thing on the right side body, breathing in between the right side ribs. Good job. Come back to center, rise up all the way to the tabletop position, all fours. Then starting with thing, turning the fingers around, point the fingers towards the knees, then you're going to get into our wrist joint slightly. Micro bend the elbows and go through a gentle cat and cow, feeling that opening in the wrists. Good. And then come back to center. Flip the palms around. So you press it into the tops of your hand now. Your fingers pointing towards your knees. Your thumbs are pointing towards each other. And go through another gentle cat and cow. So good. Come on back to center. Flip the palms around the regular position. Fingers pointing forward and then a round of cat and cow. Push the earth away as you tuck the chin to the chest. Good. And then come back into a neutral tabletop position. Inhale your right arm to the ceiling. Open it up. Exhale just for a breath. Reach to the right. Good. Move the left. Inhale. Lift the right arm to the sky. Exhale. Turn and twist. One more time. Nice job. One more. Inhale. Right leg. Right arm high. Exhale. Twist and turn. Right shoulder. Right ear comes down to the mat. Stack the hips on top of the knees. Lift the left arm to the sky. Open to the chest. Bring the left arm behind your back find a nice opening you know that you can stay here just enjoy this opening for your spine or shift the body weight over to the right knee pick up the left foot maybe the left knee and then slowly stretch the left leg back behind you engage the left glute muscle maybe gaze up to the ceiling challenge your balance today maybe bend your top leg and reach back for your foot or ankle kick into that palm good then release the foot release the leg release it down to the mat push the left palm into the mat Reach the right arm to the ceiling, open it up, and exhale, come on back onto your hands and knees. Inhale your left arm to the sky, exhale, twist and turn, reach to the right. Good. Once again, inhale, lift the left arm high, exhale, twist and turn. Good. One more time. Inhale your left arm high, open it up, exhale, twist and turn, left shoulder, left ear comes down to the mat. Then let the right arm to the sky, find the half bind, reaching back behind your back. 
stacking the hips on top of the knees. You can choose to stay right here or maybe start to shift the body weight to the left knee and then picking up the right foot, right knee, maybe stretching the right leg all the way to the ceiling. Find balance, find your breath again. Maybe bending the top leg if you like, reach back for your foot or ankle. And then gently bend you ready, release the right knee down to the mat, open from the bind, push the right palm into the mat, once again, open to the left side, reach the left arm to the sky, exhale, release it down, walk your hands a couple inch more forward, tuck your toes under, and lift your hips high for your first downward facing dog. That may be the very first down dog of your day, that may be the hundreds down dog of your day, whichever that is, just treat it like a brand new downward facing dog. Grab the triceps down, spin the biceps to the ceiling, maybe start to walk out your legs, bending the right knee, releasing the left heel down to the mat, do it on the opposite side. Good, now find stillness in your down dog, come on high onto your tippy toes and bend your knees, come on into your bear pose, hold it here, Maybe gaze forward towards the fingers, keeping the hips away from the heels. Inhale, hips high. Exhale, release the heels down. Lift the heels away from the mat again. Come on higher to your tippy toes. Rotate the heels towards the back right corner of the mat. Stretch out your Achilles. And come back to center. Pull the belly in and rotate them towards the back left corner of the mat. Nice job. Come back to center. Release the heels down. Walk your hands halfway in or not even halfway, just a little closer to find a little twist in your downward facing dog, reaching the right arm to the outside of the left leg. You know, then keeping the left tricep spinning down towards the mat, you can start to spin the gaze and gaze underneath the left armpit. Okay, then release the right arm down and switch to the other side. Push the right palm down to the mat, rotate the right tricep muscle down to the earth, pull the belly in, lift the tailbone higher, and then maybe gaze underneath the right armpit. Check out what's going on up there. Good, then release the hands back down to the mat, walk them all the way to your feet, wrangle Uttanasana, grab it onto opposite elbows, straighten the body from one side to the other. Bending both knees slightly, shifting the body weight more into your toe mounts. Good, then bring the hands behind your lower back, interlock the hands, press the palms together, lift the fist to the ceiling, lengthen through the back of the neck, bring the body weight into your toe mounts. Once you feel the stretch in the legs, and maybe slowly start to soften the backs of the knees towards the back of the mat. Open it up through the backs of the knees, straighten it up through the legs slightly. And bring your hands down to the mat, let's twist. Bend your left leg, left fingertips down, right arm to the sky. Reach and lengthen, bend your top arm and reach back behind your back. Good, right arm high, release it down to the mat. Switch to the other side, left arm high, bend your left elbow and reach back behind your back. Spin your chest to the ceiling, open up, pull the belly in, make your spine longer. Left arm high, exhale, release it down to the mat. Now, toe heel your feet all the way, mat distance apart. We're coming down into malasana, we're squatting down. So your feet are nice and wide, your heels can stay onto the mat, but your toes are hanging off of the mat. Bring the hands to your heart center, make your spine nice and straight. Pull the belly in, lift up the spine, open it up through the hips. Stay here, maybe swing the body weight to the right, to the left, open it up through the hips. Good job. Pulling the belly in, making the spine even longer, pushing those elbows into the knees. Release the hands down to the mat, lift up your hips, bring your feet hip distance apart, and walk your hands out all the way into a high plank position, top of a push-up. Good, now pull the belly in, gaze down in one spot, and you're going to start to tap on opposite shoulders. Shh, shh, shh. Now try not to move the hips too much. Move the fingers, tap it onto the shoulders, reach with the shoulder, with the sternum forward. The back of the neck is nice and long, just warming up the core. Come on, ten more. Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay here, bring your feet together. Right palm down, left arm to the sky, side plank, Vajrasthasana. Lift the hips a little higher, tuck the tailbone under, pull the belly and reach to the ceiling. Maybe add on by reaching the top arm forward and lift the top leg up and away from the bottom leg. Hold and balance for three, for two, and one. Release it down, come on back into high plank both. Feet are together, right palm to the sky. Find balance, stacking the feet on top of each other. Watch your right hip. It wants to fall back, so stack it on top of the left hip and lift it even higher. Maybe play with your balance by lifting that top arm, reaching it forward, lifting the top leg. Good job. Come on back to center. Hands down to the mat. Come down onto your forearm plank. Forearm plank. Elbows down underneath the shoulder. You're going to push forward and reach back. Push and reach. Keep moving. Push and reach. Push and reach. Your body stays one long energy line from the heels all the way to the front of the head. And keep going. Ten. 
Come on, nine. Squeeze those outer hips like I place a block in between the inner thighs. You're pulling the lower belly in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stay in your forearm plank. Turn the right finger slightly in. Stack your ankles, stack your shoulders, and lift the left arm to the sky. Now push into the right forearm. Lift up from the right shoulder. Maybe gaze up to the ceiling. Good, come on back down onto your forearms. Pause there. Then turn the left fingers in and reach the right arm to the sky. Side plank down onto the left forearm. Stacking the hips, flexing your feet. Opening up through the chest in the reach of the right arm. Keeping the back of the neck long. Bring the right forearm back down to the mat. You're in your forearm plank position. Then come on back onto your palms. One hand breathe at a time for high plank position. Let's stretch back into downward facing dog. Hips high to the sky. Taking a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, come into a half fill lift. Reach the chest forward. Exhale, fold forward. Come down into Nasana. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Grab onto your left wrist. Lift up, tuck the tailbone under. And pull the left wrist all the way to the right side. Lift the chin away from the chest. And push the hips to the left. Creating that half moon shape with the whole body. Come back to center, grab onto your right wrist, tuck the tailbone under. Good, engage your glute and start to pull the right wrist all the way to the left as you push the hips to the right, creating that half moon shape on the left side. Good, and come back to center. Go close the arms, lift up your chest, squeeze the glutes as you push the hips forward. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha, half way lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step, jump back, go through your vinyasa, upward facing dog, back into your downward facing dog. We're going to do that one more time, breath to movement. Lift up the hips, deep inhale, and exhale. Then gaze forward, inhale, exhale, bend your knees, step hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, arm up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky, rise up. Find your left wrist and reach all the way to the right. Keep the chin ch lifted away from the chest. Come back to center, grab onto your right wrist and pull the right wrist all the way to the left as you push the hips to the right. Come back to center, separate the arms, cactus the arms, lift up your heart, push the hips forward. Inhale, come back to center, exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. Half way lift as you inhale, exhale, step, jump back. Go through your vinyasa. High, low, up dog, downward facing dog. Deep inhale through the nose and exhale it out. Bring your feet closer together. Inhale, your right leg halfway up. Point the right toes down. You're going to work on the core a little. So with the legs, listen up. You bring the right knee to the right tricep and you come back, right leg high. Right knee to your nose. Come back, right leg high. Right knee to the left. Come back high, just like that. Keep going. Use your core as you lean forward, come all the way into the high plank. Go to the right tricep, then center, then left tricep, then back to the right. Keep going. Shh. Good. Come on, eight more seconds. Shh. Warming up the shoulders, wrapping those triceps down. Good job. Now come forward, bring the right knee to the right tricep. Lift the right knee higher, push the right knee to the right tricep. Start to bend those elbows. Come back half day. Come on, squeeze the right knee to the right tricep. Hold it here. Push it back. We're going to do four more of those. Bend the elbows. Squeeze the right knee to the right tricep. Push it back up. Bend the elbows. Come on down half day. Push it back up. Two more. Bend the elbows. Come on down half day. Push it back up. Last one. Bend the elbows. Push it back up. Inhale, your right leg high through the sky. Exhale, step it all the way through to low lunge. Nice job. Grab your weight. Just one. One is enough for now. All right, left palm is down. Weight into your right hand. Reach up. Back down. Reach up. Back down. Come on, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Eight more. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Keep going. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Four more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last two. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Grab your second weight. Lift up the chest just halfway. Reach with the sternum forward. Make your back leg strong. Bring the arms by your side. Turn the palms up and lift them up. And up. And up. Pull the right hip back to the center line. 
pull the belly into the spine and lift and lift and lift and keep going 10 9 8 7 6 soften the muscles around the jaw soften your teeth let's go 3 2 lift it higher pausing up 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 step at the top of the mat good bend both knees Feet can be hip distance apart, lean forward, bring the elbows to your side, continue with a little tricep work. Push it back, push it back. Now pull the belly in, shift your body weight back to your heels, light toes. Good, drop the thigh bone deeper, keep the back of the neck long. Now sit down deeper and push it more back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Hold it up, turn the palms to the ceiling. Come on, ten more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Straight on the legs. Bring the hands to your heart center. Grab both weights into your right hand. Separate your feet a little wider. You're gonna squat and push the right arm high. All the way up, all the way down. Working on the legs. Let's go. All the way up, all the way down. Toes are slightly out, heels are slightly in. Good. Feeling the body weight still on those heels. Keep going. Ten. Come on. Nine. Push it all the way to the ceiling. Eight. Come on. Seven. Bend the knees. Leave that more. I place the mini chair behind your glutes. You know, find that mini chair. Come on. Five. Whew. Four, all the way up. Three, push. Two, and one. Stay down. Hands at your heart center. Pulsing down, 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 down. Sitting deeper into that squat. Come on, deeper down. Your heels are heavy. Your belly is strong. Protecting that lower back. Keep going. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, stay down deep. Bring the elbows down onto your thighs. Bring the right elbow to the inside of the right knee. And let's go to the bicep. Sit down as deep as you can. Come on. Come on, bring it up. Try not to lean all the way forward. Not all your body weight is on the elbows. You keep the glutes nice and strong. You feel those glutes. Let's go. Your toes are still light. Your heel is heavy. You're pulling the belly in. Let's go. Eight. And seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice job. Straight on those legs. Nice work. All right. We have our second side, the left side. But first, we're going to jump a little. Then we're going to do our reach up. Then we're going to come down again. All right. I know what I'm doing. You just follow me, please. All right. Bend the knees, hands on your heart. Let's go. Jump in and out. Let's go. Nice and deep. Sit back to the heels. Keeping the chest lifted. Let's go. All right. 20 more seconds. Go a little deeper if you can. That's it. 10. Keep going. Nice and deep. Connect to your breath. Use and feel those exhales. Five. Four, three, two, and one. I know, they burning. I know, I feel that. All right, grab the weights. Toes out, heels in. We're going to reach down, reach up. Good. Sit down and push it up. Good. Down and up. Keep going. Good work. Sitting down a little deeper. Keeping the chest lifted. Keep the body with back into your heels. Whew. Eight more. And seven. Push it up. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Yes. And one more. Yes. That's it. All right. Now, bring the elbows onto your thighs. Good. Bring the left elbow to the inside of the left knee. 
Try not to put all the body weight onto your forearms. And let's go. Left side. Come on. Keep going. Reach down. Feel that left bicep. Good. Now add on. Eight more. Seven. And six. And five. Sit down deep. Feel those glutes. Come on. Three. And two. And one more. All right. Finish up strong. Put those weights down. Bend the knees. Jump. In and out. And in and out. Come on. 20 more seconds. Keep the chest lifted. Tune in with the breath. Let's go. 15 more seconds. Just a little deeper. Let's go. 10. 8. 6. 4. 2. And 1. Nice work. That was great. Check out those legs. Now we're going to come down. Back into high plank pose. Grab a sip of water. All right. All right. High plank pose. <clears throat> I'm going to give you two variations. So, what we're going to do, we're going to come into a high plank and pull the left arm up. Just like that. If that's too much, just like we're modifying in a push up, you bring the knees down, tuck the tailbone under, and do it here. So your core participates in the whole thing, stays nice and long. If you can though, do your high plank, all right? High plank pose, or maybe modify the knees down, weight into the left hand, good, and pull, and down, and pull, and down, let's go. Keep the core strong, pull it up. If halfway through, you feel like you need to bring the knees down, bring the knees down. Let's go, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the right knee down, align with the right wrist, lift the left arm high, lift up the left leg, reach the left arm forward and crunch, and reach, and crunch, and reach, and crunch, and reach. If you have to lose that weight, lose that weight, that's okay. Come on, ten. Nine, eight, extend the left leg all the way to straight. Come on, five, four, three, two, and one. Extend the left leg, place the weight onto your left hip, and let's go lift, and lift, and lift, and lift. You can flex the foot, point the foot, whatever you feel like it's more effective to keep those outer hips straight and strong, and go. Come on, lock out that left leg. Make it as strong as you can. And lift, and lift, and lift. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice work. All right, coming back down into the high plank pose. This time you're going to have the weight into your right hand. So left hand is down. You modify with the knee down and pull the arm up just like that. Or you're in your high plank pose and do the same thing just like that. Let's go. Put the third away with the left palm and pull and down and pull and down. Use that exhale. Pull it up. Pull it up. That's it. Come on. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, nice job. Bring the left knee down. Align with the left hand. Your right leg is aligned with the left knee. Then you're gonna lift the weight up. Optional weight. Lift the right leg up. Reach the right arm forward and go. Crunch it in. Crunch and reach. And crunch and reach. Crunch and reach. Let's go. Shh. And inhale. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Can you straighten the top leg all the way? Good. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Extend the right leg all the way to straight. Place the weight onto your right hip. Point or flex the right foot. And lift. And lift. Now check onto your body. 
Make sure you tuck the tailbone under, your booty is not going behind you. You're creating a nice long energy line from the crown to your right toe. And lift, and lift, and pulse it up and go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job, release it down. All right. Now we're going to come up all the way into standing position. Toes out, heels in. So it's such a great pose to work on your inner thighs, work on your outer hips, your glutes, and we can add a lot of great stuff at the top. All right, so first, we're going to do a little shoulder work. We're going to come here, this is our starting pose, and push, and back, and push, and back, and go, push, and back, and push, and back. Your knees going out to the side. You're using the outer hip muscles to push the knees out. Ten more. And nine. And eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hands back to your heart. Bend the knees. Now we've done that yesterday. We're going to continue with that. It's such a good work for your core, for your oblique. Sit down deep, come the tailbone under. Box to the left, box to the right. Notice, nothing moves from the belly button down. It's just your upper body, all right? Knees stay exactly pointing out to the side. Tug the tailbone under. Lower body stable. Bend the knees and go. Shh, 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 shh. Gaze where you're sending that weight. Good, feel that power. Shh, shh. Like you're trying to punch something or someone out there. Come on, let's go. Tug the tailbone under. Shh, keep going. You have 50 more seconds. Can you go a little deeper? Can you punch that weight a little farther? And go. Out. And out. And out. And out. Four. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hands at your heart. Big pulse. And down. And down. And down. And down. A little deeper. Let's go. Four. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, stay down deep, push the knees back, and back, and back, four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good job, stand up, you're going to straighten the legs, bring the arms up, you're going to give the legs a little break, just doing tricep, so instead of letting the elbows go out to the side, squeeze them in, and push, and up, and down, and up. Your feet are together, your glutes are engaged, your core is strong, your whole body is engaged. Let's lift, and lift, and lift, just like that, let's go. Up, squeeze those forearms together, squeeze the elbows together, pull the belly in. Come on, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Now you have two options. You can double up the weight into your right hand or just put one weight down and continue with one weight into your right hand. You're going to lift up the right arm, grab onto your right tricep, and lift, and lift. So I'm just turning around. You can see me from every direction of what I'm doing. Pull the belly in, engage the glute. You have one or two weights. Into that right hand and go. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep going. Four, and three, Woo. and two, and one. Lift it up. Nice job. Switch it out to the other side. Grab that weight. Grab the left tricep with the right hand and push. Good job. And push. Come on, keep on going. Push. Nice work. And push. That's it. Up. And back. Up. And back. Come on. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Bend that elbow more. Six. Five. Oh, four. Come on. Keep going. Three. Two. And one. Nice job. I think I'm ready to double that weight up into my hands. All right, you did great. Come back into down dog. We have to do something.
done things on the left side, but we already done on the right side. We just did a couple of things in between the two. Make sure your weights are at the top of the mat. Oops. Come on back into a downward facing dog. All right. Now we just have to find the same flow on the left side, right? Left leg up. Good. And then pull the knee to your left tricep. Then inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to right. And keep going. High, left. High, middle. High, right. And just like that. Keep going, using that core. And forward. And right. And forward. Good. Almost there. Next time that you're going to get to the left tricep, pause there. Bring the left feet to the left tricep. Good. Now glue it in. Then you're going to add a couple of push-ups here. Bend the elbow. Push it back. Then you're going to do that five times. Let's go. Shh. And back. Shh. And back. Shh. And back. Come on. Two more. Shh. And back. One more. Shh. And back. Good job. Left leg high to the sky. Step it all the way through low lunge. Grab your weights. All right, lift up the chest, just half bay. Turn the palms to the ceiling. Arms are straight, pull the left hip back, and go. Lift, and lift, and lift, and lift. Belly strong, come on, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, crisscross those weights behind your back. Try to lift it a little higher. Come on, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step at the top of the mat. Come on back into that chair pose. Bend the knees. Feet can be hip distance apart. Now instead of rounding here, make your spine long. Bend the elbows and lift, and lift, and lift. Come on, sit down deep. Lift it up. Squeeze the shoulder blades at the top. Your heels are heavy. Your toes are light. Your belly's pulling into the spine. And lift. Come on, ten more. And nine. Eight. Seven. Feel that burn. Let's work. And six. And five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it up at the top. Come on, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Really sit down. All right. Now, we're going to come into a dolphin push-up. So you're going to come down onto your forearms. You're going to interlock the hands. You're going to come into a dolphin pose. Hips high. So this is down dog on your forearms. Then you reach forward into this forearm plank. And back. And forward. And back. So when you reach forward, your shoulder comes over your elbow line. And that's fine. Let's go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. How strong your core is in this pose. Come on, pull that belly in. Don't let the elbows to slide out to your side. Keep them shoulder distance apart the whole time. Give me ten more. And nine. Such a great shoulder work. Let's go. It also opens up your shoulders. Come on, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come forward. Fix those elbows. Bring them underneath the shoulders. You and your forearm plank pose. Drop the hips to the right. Back to center. To the left. Back to center. Rainbows go. Shh. Twist from your waistline. Come on, drop those hips down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. You're going to hold it on the right in one. Drop the hips towards the right. Hover the right hip over the mat. Keep both arms down to the mat. You're going to just lift the hips. Just like that. Up, up, up. You're still tilting the hips to the right. For 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Up to the other side. Hover the left hip over the mat. And just like that. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Come on down. 
that's your best. Awesome job. Try old spoons or a sip of water, whatever you need. But reconnect with your breath, whatever you do. Don't give up on yourself. All right, a little bit of a core. We're doing great. We're cruising through this whole thing. You got this. Let's go. We're going to go into Russian twist. Then we're going to do a couple other core exercises, all right? So just lean back onto your mat. Again, finding that super uncomfortable position as deep as you can go. We're not up here, just hanging out and twisting. We're down into that most uncomfortable position, all right? And then touch, and touch, and touch, and touch. And of course, your heels can be down onto the mat. And of course, your knee can be lifted, or your feet can be lifted. I also like to use maybe a block in between the knees, so you're really squeezing those outer hips. I know, you may not have a block right now, so don't worry about that. And twist. Lean back more and go. Just like that, let's go. Shh, 
exhale. Come on. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Release the weights down to the mat. Whew, we're really cruising through today. All right, we're gonna have a little bit of a cardio now. Starting with jumping jacks, coming down to mountain climbers. And I'll tell you what's happening afterwards. All right, it's a big surprise. Maybe not as big, but come on, I won't tell you. So you have something to wait for. All right, in the meantime, fix yourself, stand up. Let's go, jumping jacks. 30 seconds, already going, let's go. And jump, and jump, and jump, keep going. Good job, 10 seconds, already done. 20 more. Reach, and go. Come on, a little deeper. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. High plank, you're gonna cross the knees. Mountain climbers. Let's go, come on, come on. Lean more forward with the chest. Pull those knees in. Halfway through, 15 more seconds. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. All right. Next one, super big surprise, burpees. All right. I'm sorry. That's all that I can come up in. Cool burpees. All right. What I learned... Did not know. Now when you go into your burpees, you actually come back all the way to your chest and you push it up from here apparently. I just learned that from a professional burpee master. Well, I don't know if that exists. But anyway, now start from here, push it up, jump forward and jump it up. Back, all the way down, all the way back, forward and jump. Come on, 30 seconds, let's go. Up right now. Keep going, guys. Woo! Come on, 10 more seconds. Eight more. Six. Four. Two. And one. Nice job. Coming down into our mat. All right. We're going to start. Placing the weight today behind the left knee. You always start with the right side. Let's give a little attention for the left side. So place the weight behind the left knee. Pull the belly in, up and down. Now you guys, you know that what I care about a lot is your healthy lower back. So make sure you are not moving your torso. You're pulling that belly in, you're lifting the weight, with the left leg, left glute. Flex the left foot and go. Good job, we just warm it up, let's go. Lift with that strong left glute. Flex the left foot, you got this. Come on with the breath. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, right away, we're gonna open to the side, fire hydrants, come on, out to the side. Come on, flex the left foot, round through the upper spine, lift with that outer hip, we're shaping the entire glute, let's go. Out, and out, and out. Come on, 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, and you're gonna two to, put the two together. So inhale, lift up to center, back down, out to the side. Back down, lift it up. Back down, out to the side. That's it. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Slow it down so you're not just swinging that weight. Let's go. Ten, nine, Gonna go slow, let's go. Eight, out to the side. Seven, Woo. six, feel that burn, let's go. Five, four, three, a little higher, out to the side. Two, last one, nice and strong. Lift it up and out to the side. Awesome job, good work. Release the weight from underneath the glute. Coming to a push-up position, 
and one, drop it down. Good, now you're gonna do the right leg. You place the weight behind the right knee. We're starting first lifting up straight. Now we're gonna lift, uh, lift out to the side. Now we're gonna two, put the two together, back and out. You know what I'm saying, all right. All right, hands down. Squeeze the weight behind the right knee and lift and down and lift and down. Let's go, pulling the belly in. Gaze down at one spot. No need to look around. You know exactly what you're doing. Pulling the belly in. Just slowly lift the right heel up. Feel the energy coming from the right glute. Your lower back stays stable. Your lower belly is pulling into the spine. You're rounding through the upper spine. You're pushing the earth away. Oh, I feel my arms right now. Yes, from the previous song for sure. Let's go. Come on. Now, 10. And nine, slow it down. Really feel that you're lifting with that right glute. Nothing else is strong and strengthened right now, except the belly too. Your belly's strong too. <laughs> Come on. Five, and four, and three, and two. Remember, we're gonna go out to the side in one. Then you're gonna start your fire hydrants. Open up to the side. Open up to the side. Shaping that booty from all sides. Let's go. Up, and up. We're gonna add 10 more, then we're gonna combine the two. Come on, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Get ready, we're gonna put the two together. Now lift up and out to the side. Then lift up and out to the side. That's it. Round through the upper spine. I know you're getting tired in your arms. Let's go. 10. Nine. That's slow, come on. Eight. And seven. Woo, feel that shaking, come on. Six. Five. Use that strong muscle, let's go. Four. Almost there. Three. Good, come on, two. Almost there, come on, last one, nice and strong. Lift. Out to the side, and we are good. Whew. Release the knees down to the mat. You stretch back, find your child's pose. Stretch to the right heel, stretch to the left heel. Good job. You are done for the day. Nice work. Now come up for your, from your child's pose and sit down onto your mat. We're gonna stretch it out for a little bit. Bring the right leg out into an angle. Bring the sole of the left foot into the right inner thigh. Let the left knee fall away from the body. Lift up the chest, then lift up the arms. Then gently fall over your right leg. Then minimize, join your shoulder straps at a forehead to meet posture. Pulling the toes towards the face, stretching out through the calves. And then let the forehead come all the way down towards the knee. Maybe your forehead's gonna touch the knee. Maybe you like to bend your knee and create a connection between forehead and knee. Tucking the chin to the chest, creating that throat lock, the jaw and the Good job, slowly rise back up, switching out to get a side. Left leg out, so the right foot comes into the left inner thigh, melt the right knee away from the body. Inhale, lift up the arms. Exhale, turn twist, and then over your left leg. Flex the left foot towards the knee. Plugging the left thigh bone, the femur bone back into its socket. Lengthening out from the lower back, maybe melting the forehead all the way to your knee. Maybe bending the knee to create that connection. Tucking the chin to the chest, feeling that throat lag, that slightly uncomfortable feeling in your throat. So good for your hormones. Gently rise back up, bring the soles of the feet together, let your knees to fall out to the side. Slide your heels closer to the sit bones. Then maybe open the legs a couple of times like a butterfly wings. Lift up the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades, them in a flat spine, start to go forward. Pushing the elbows to the knees and bring the forehead down to your knees, to your toes. If this is way too easy for you, you can always interlock the hands like steeple grip. Reach the index finger forward, cross your thumbs and reach with the index finger all the way forward, reaching the hips back, finding a nice stretch. Good, then slowly lift up the chest. Bend both knees. Cross the right ankle on top of the left knee. Sit up nice and strong here. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Stay right here. Maybe walk the hands closer to your spine, your feet closer to your chest. Or maybe extend the left leg and grab it onto your right shin. Sitting up here, bring the right shin closer to your chest. 
Finding that flat spine, flexing the left foot. Good job. Slowly release. Everybody, extend the left leg forward. Cross your right knee, right foot to the outside of the left leg. Bring the right fingertips behind your back. Hug the right knee into your chest as you twist. Maybe by hooking the left elbow to the outside of the right knee to find that twist. Good, release, come back to center. Soles of the feet down onto the mat, crossing the left ankle on top of the right knee, lifting up the chest, staying here, maybe walking the hands and the foot closer to your chest, sandwiching the left shin bone, or extend the right leg forward and grabbing onto the left shin. Maintain a flat spine, pulling the belly in, pulling the left shin closer to your chest. Good job, and then slowly release, extend the right leg forward, cross the left ankle on top of the outside of the right leg, pull the chest, the left knee into your chest, then bring the left finger to behind your back and turn and twist, hug the left knee in or maybe hook the right elbow to the outside of the left leg, flexing the right foot, keeping the bottom leg active, then gently come back to center, stretch both legs in front of you, maybe shoot the, the hips further back, finding the flesh, removing the flesh from underneath the sit bones, Inhale, lift up the arms, pull the belly in, exhale, fold forward. Grab onto your toes or onto your shins, whatever is available. Reach the chest more forward. Make your lower back even longer. Pull the belly in. Now try to maintain all that flat, nice feeling in your spine, that lengthening sensation in your spine as you start to melt your forehead down to your shin. Deep inhale. And just allow the whole upper body to melt over your lower body. Beautiful, slowly rise back up, soles of the feet down onto the mat, reach the arms forward using your core slowly, one bird away at a time, roll back down onto your mat, give, me, give yourself one more last squeeze, one more last hug, wrapping the forearms around the shins, maybe lifting the forehead to your knees, come into a happy baby pose, and when you're ready, when you feel satisfied, Release the legs down onto your mat. Come into your last final shavasana. Just for a couple of breaths here. Softening the whole body down to the mat. Without resisting, just letting go. Softening the body from the toes to the crown of the head into your fingers. Letting go of the stress. Releasing all the thoughts from the mind. Just simply tuning in with the feelings. Take a deep inhale through the nose, fill up your lungs one more time all the way. Open your mouth and slowly release, let it out, let it go. Gently start to bring some movements back into the body, circling out the ankles, the wrists, moving the fingers, the toes, maybe creating a fist and then stretching the fingers away from each other flexing, pointing the feet, the toes. Now hug the knees onto your chest, giving yourself one more squeeze, rolling to the right, to the left, massaging out your kidneys, your lower back. Now roll over to your right side, using the right arm as a pillow underneath your ear. Using the left palm, press yourself up into a comfortable seat, cross your legs, sit up nice and tall, hands at your heart center, close your eyes for a couple more seconds. To really allow yourself to tune in with your breath your feelings, just noticing the shift in the body, in the mind after practicing 50 minutes, focusing on you, on your breath, connecting your body and your mind. Gently lift the thumbs in between the eyebrows, pressing into that third eye, the center of intuition, the center of knowledge. And then gently start to lift the gaze to the ceiling, blinking your eyes open to get every back forward. See you in for practice. Namaste. Thank you so much, my friends. Thanks for showing up today. Thanks for being here, staying strong and active and taking good care of yourself and your body. I am so glad you all came today. Please leave me a comment, a feedback. If you like to do, if you like to do these workouts, you can always go to uh, Aura 7 Yoga on YouTube and follow me on YouTube. I'm putting all these videos on every single day as well as different videos. You can find yoga. Thanks so much. Awesome to see you too. And, um, and I'll be back tomorrow at 4 o'clock. If you want to practice some yoga with me, we can do that uh, in the mornings, 10 a.m. every morning. I'm at Aura 7 Activer, my other account. You can practice some yoga with me there. I have a bunch of fun uh, guest teachers there as well. So keep, uh, keep in, let's keep in touch. All right, nice to see you guys. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Have a great evening, evening and see you very soon.